First of all, welcome to the channel and thank you for stopping by. When time permits, please consider subscribing. I would greatly appreciate it. I have been a user of the Scorpion helmet since 2018. I started with a Scorpion AT950 and I used that until about six or eight months ago when I decided to upgrade to the ADX2 also known as the Scorpion AT960 here in the United States. You'll see that back there on the shelf. Unfortunately, that helmet did not meet my needs for a host of reasons I went over in my review of it. I wanted to stick with the Scorpion brand. After all, I have five solid years with their AT950 and it always exceeded my expectations. What I've gone ahead and done is considered the ADX2 to be a fluke, and I've gone ahead and made a purchase of the ADF9000 Air. This is going to be my helmet that I hope will again exceed all of my expectations. Let's take it out of the box and see if it looks like it's going to be a good helmet. And then when the weather turns a little better, we'll try it out. What we have here is the Scorpion ADF 9000 Air. This is the European version of the Scorpion XT 9000. And there's one key difference and, well, actually there are two key differences as to why I purchased this helmet. The primary reason is I really like to have a drop down sun visor. And this not only has a drop down sun visor, it has the perfect location that I'm used to with my AT950 to have that sun visor come down. Such an improvement over any other helmet I've used. I've had four helmets with the sun visor. I, I, I can't stand doing this, fiddling with a little bitty button. I like the Scorpion style of up there. It doesn't matter if you have a glove on, you can do it. Now, the second reason I purchased this is this helmet was $180 less than buying a Scorpion XT9000 at the time I made the purchase. Now that price varies greatly, but it does seem that you can always get at least $100 savings, shipping included, buying this helmet. Let's open up the box. All right. This is going to be our helmet. I believe this is similar. They have the same thing available with the 9000 XT. We get the shaded cover. I probably won't use this. I prefer to just use the drop down, but it's nice that it's included. Here's what we want to look at. Well, this is interesting. This is actually padded slightly, which is uncommon. All right. This is the color I wanted. Sometimes when you buy Helmets in Europe or for a lower price, there's a significant savings getting the plain version of the helmet. Example being, I saved $50 by getting the plain version of the ADX2. With this one, the solid colors, the plain ones, and the graphics were exactly the same price. So I didn't have to think, do I want to save money? I just was able to get the one I want, and I'm very grateful for that. And here we have it. This is exactly what I wanted. A nice large lever that allows me to, at will, activate the sun shield. I know it's going to sound silly, but the ability to deploy that easily while wearing heavy gloves, because I do a lot of cold weather riding, it adds a tremendous amount of value. Now I'll go ahead and put the weight up. I know it's not that much lighter than the AT950 I'm used to, but this feels 
so light. Now, everyone calls this a carbon fiber helmet, but from what I've read on Scorpion's website, this is a carbon composite. There's regular poly in here. There's some carbon in here. This is probably not going to feel as light as a Climb Creos Pro. Uh, to me, it does, but it's been about a year since I've held or worn the Climb Creos Pro. This feels a little bit sturdier, a little heavier plastic than what I was getting with the AT960 or ADX2. And that's why I was willing to go a little bit more money than I normally spend. I wanted to get a premium helmet by a brand I trust. I just feel that the ADX2 AT960 just wasn't up to the quality of the 950 and I was hoping that this would be. So far, feels pretty good. We have the nice cushiony inside. With this has the air, I believe. Yes. We have an actual button in order to make this tighter on your face, which is interesting because the thing about the AT950 was that it should not cheat you. You aren't just like this no matter what. So it's interesting to see that now it's going to start out a little bit less squished and allow you to get squished if you feel like it. Let's try this on. Ah. All right. Now, I mentioned how much I really like this, and I do. I think that it is an incredible quality of life feature. However, the reason I'm sticking with Scorpion, honestly, is because I want this. I want the field of view that I get from a Scorpion helmet. I've tried many helmets, including an HJC that cost me $500 that's specifically a touring helmet. And it does not give me the ability. I can see my hands right here. I can see both of my hands without moving my head whatsoever. I really do feel that Scorpion gives you the best field of view. And I really feel that that's incredibly important when buying a helmet. Roads are dangerous. They're absolutely treacherous. Cars don't see us. So it's important that we can see them. And I do think that Scorpion gives us the best, easiest opportunity to see traffic coming up on us. This is something I hadn't really given much thought to. And when I opened it up now, it came back to me, but I literally forgot about this. The front of the helmet, you can take the vent off and place this there. And then you can place a GoPro mount or any other mount for your camera. This is essentially what I did with my 950, which was I took the vent off, leaving a flat piece of plastic, and that's where I mounted my camera. It's nice to see that Scorpion saw that a lot of people on the internet were doing that and have given that an option to do that with the new helmet. Well, time for the most satisfying part of a new helmet. Let's just officially make it mine. I mean, I bought it from Europe. I'm not sure if I could return it anyway. So it's mine. I think it is a striking helmet. I think that it's got a good weight to it. It's from a company that I trust and it has what I really want. All right, folks. I will be testing this out. The first big trip with this will be going from New York to South Carolina for the Palmetto ADV Fest. And I will absolutely do a live from the ADV Fest and let you guys know exactly how this performed. Good, bad, or I'll scream bloody murder if it performs terribly. But with my experience with Scorpion helmets, I don't think that's going to be the case. All right. If you stuck around, I appreciate it and take care.